All right, guys, we're going back to Psalm 1448. And there's a couple small interesting things in this. Um, and I think you'll like them. Again, just simply rock or something more. Let's jump right into it. You can see it up here at the top. It is MSL, JPL, NASA.gov, and of course, MSL, raw photo, BS, it's not raw. But anyway, you got 1448 mass cam. You can see M cam, so that's definitely mass cam. It is a JPEG, which I hate using, but you could still bring the stuff out if you clear it up and make the photo larger so it doesn't break up as we zoom into it, so on and so forth. Now, what we're going to look at is a couple things right here. Okay. Right off the bat, we've got this item right here. And this has been seen over and over again. It's, it's not the first time this has been seen. Right there. But it's not just that long piece. It's this little piece right here, as well as this piece. And there's something over here that almost looks like some kind of weird, almost like, you know, you got them, we used to call them, kid around, call them wonder wiggles. They're basically a ratchet, and they'd swivel, right? So it's a swivel or like a drive shaft kind of thing. Or well, the universal has where you can actually flex it, right? And this is right here on this left-hand side, and I'm going to bring that a whole lot better. Whatever that thing is, yeah, you're going to see this is clearly not some natural occurring thing, right? And it's something right there. I'm not sure what to make of that, but to me, it's, it could very well be a uh, rock, right? I'm 50-50 on that. But these two objects, I want to show you that, as well as we got this right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. Almost looks like it was a grill or some kind of grate to something, see that? And it's like perfect one, two, three, four. Now this could be actually digitized out somehow, and that's what they've done. And there's a couple more weird looking things like this up here, stuff like that. We'll go over real quick. And it almost looks like a wall here. See that right there? Like it's been torn to pieces. Okay. Let's get into that. Let's jump right into Photoshop on that piece. And here you go. It was this big here. And of course, we like to blow things up. So this way here, you can actually see this better without the photo breaking up. All right. So let's jump into this. This one's actually pretty neat. Because you have to ask yourself, if this is natural, and again, it could very well be. I don't believe that it is. Because you'll see these sections right here. Let's just outline this first. Okay. One, it looks like some kind of weird, almost like a block to this 90 degree angle. Coming down. Going like this. It's kind of missing piece right here. Goes back down like this here. But it's the details in it that make you question it. And it's got that right there. But right here, there's one, two, three, four. It looks like it's kind of rotted away right there. It's almost like these are wide open on here. So you got these six of them sitting right here. Right? The funny thing about it is look at the spacing on there. They almost look evenly spaced. And that's pretty cool in itself. This little item right here, this thing's doing this. Going like this, this. Kind of looks like it's doing this here, down. And I'll show you this better, guys. You know that. Coming down, just little intricate details. Almost looks like this weird funky cube with a, like a frame or something on it, right? Okay. Jump over to this side. We're just going to go down here a little bit. I want to show you this thing. This is pretty interesting, too. I, I found this really wild looking. It's all about the details, guys. Check this thing out. When you have something that almost looks like a square head to it on the end, has like an inner piece that does the same. It's like it's docker right up here. This thing goes like this, comes down, goes like this. You have this piece going like this here. See this small rectangular dock spot? Okay, this thing's going like this. There you go. There appears, I don't know if you guys can see this, but right here there's a small pin. Almost like that would be some kind of pivot point kind of pin to it. Like this here. Now, let me back out of here. Let's go ahead and clear that up. And then we're just going to jump into a full enhancement. Now let's have a better look at that. See that now? Guys, whatever that thing is, clearly that is not natural. 
And when do you ever see a rock do that? Now, people still claim they're rocks, but here's the funny part. What they don't understand is I live in a mountain estate. I walk a lot of these these mountains and stuff like that, and I see these things. I, I never see stuff that does that. Look at this. Now, I'm not saying you can't have intricate details in rocks. Of course you can. What I'm saying is that the way that thing is shaped, come on, man, look at this. It's like they're totally blocking this thing out and making it look like some kind of weird rock when clearly it's not. But this right here, like I said, look at the details in that thing. And you can see what looks like either something over here. I don't know if it's writing or just a design. Doesn't really matter at this point. Check that out. That's in the color. And, of course, I take most of it out after that. There you go. See that? Now let's bounce back over to the other area real quick and have a look at the other piece. Right up here. Actually, these two pieces, I should say. Check this out. Now, look at the other little intricate pieces right here. And they're like perfectly spaces. Two, 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 two. Right here. One, two, one. Now, some of it's distorted because it appears that there's something else on top of this area. But right here, you got one, two. What's the chances of that thing doing that? I can see a very faint line doing this, going up. Guys, look at this thing. What? This object right here as well. Not sure what to make of that. It almost looks like it has a square to it, like this here. Going up like this. There's a white piece there. It's at the top. Whatever the hell that thing is, that's neat. See that? This object right here, not sure what to make of that. Let me just zoom into all three of these for you guys. A little too much. What do you guys think of that? Just in one spot, you got these three items, and it's right there. See how that's like, you can see how they really try to mush that out. See that? And the reason why we can find that is look at the corner right here. You see there's a straight line coming down. Appears to be doing this and then back down. Look through the blur. The blur is there to hide whatever the hell is sitting right there. And I can show you the lines. They're right there. I can, I can actually literally draw this out. There's actually another extended piece. I didn't even see that earlier. Check that out. But anyway, looks like it does this. Straight back down. You got this body of whatever this thing is. And that can be digitized out, whatever that thing actually was laying there. Or, or that's just the look of it, one of the two, right? But either way, these three pieces alone, at least the two, definitely look mechanical. Intelligently made. So even if it's stone, let's suppose this is stone right here, and I'd be okay with that. This item right here. Not sure what we call that, whether it's stone, steel, I don't know. This other piece, again, not sure, but there it is. This item over here. I brought up the lines going to this thing. Check this out. See the lines? And we've got the rest of this piece, this body of this thing right here. There you go. Looks like some other smaller pieces. There's something right underneath here. You can see it's white. Right there. To me, that's pretty interesting right there alone. There's something right there. Looks like all these little intricate pieces on top. Looks like there's something right here. It does, it does this, right? But it has this round piece, and then it has a smaller, lighter piece. It looks like it does this. See that? Here's what looks like that. To me, it looks like it could be a broken up wall, or it's just the actual site itself. But I find it pretty interesting either way. Got a thing hanging off that. But it's actually pretty thick, going up like this here. And you can see that here, the top pot. Pretty thick. Got a line right down here in the middle. Again, guys, if you look carefully, you can see what looks like these rocks. 
And then you can see like a little tip of white from the dock texture. Here's a good example. Got this piece right here. People say, oh, it's a rock. Is it really? Because I'm seeing white right here. And what they've done, they've taken this color texture and just threw it over that. And also look carefully because you can see something right here doing this. Got a, like darker area here. Goes up and above. I don't believe that's natural either. I really don't believe so. But it doesn't matter. Some of the things on here are just not natural, period. It's like something's all over this. You can see it going like this. Whoop. Lower line doing the same thing. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Again, I'll show you these real up close real quick. That there. That right there. And of course these other three pieces on this side. Right there. There you go, guys. All right, guys, what are we seeing here? Are we seeing more mechanical parts? Are we seeing stone objects? Which, now, there's a bunch of rocks there, no doubt. But there's also things being dressed up to look like rocks. That they had rock mimicking software and that they can dress anything they want up or cover anything they want and then use a color texture to put over it. And like that last rock I showed you, it didn't look like a rock at all because you can see white. And then the rest of it was kind of like painted over with the with a, like a dirt kind of color uh, to mask over it. But the other two, the it's four objects total. You got the three on one side and one on the other. That, to me, is intelligently made. That's my opinion. Of course, you guys don't have to go by that. Drop your thoughts and comments below. Let me know what you think, man. Like I said, like and please share. Always appreciated. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.